Do you feel attacked by adversaries? If so, you're going to love this chapter. Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week we begin a new chapter in our scripture journal, 1 Samuel chapter 18. You may want to flop open your scripture journals right now. I've titled this chapter, Allies and Adversaries. Allies and Adversaries. So in the chapter, we're going to get a look inside of King Saul's house and see the chemistry between young David and Saul's entire family. And the tension between them is palpable. It's kind of like watching an episode of the Kardashians. I haven't seen it. Maybe you have. If you have, shame on you. <laughs> it's going to feel a little, bit, a little bit like that, maybe. At least I think. Not exactly, of course. But we will watch as some within Saul's family attach to David and, well, others attack him. And that either you're going to see love or hate him, fuse or frustrate him, or attach and attack him. And it all stems from this one declaration in chapter 18, verse 14, the key verse of our chapter. You may want to highlight it. I have highlighted it in my Bible. It reads, And David had success in all his undertakings, for the Lord was with him. <laughs> you know, when the Lord is with you, there's a blessing that's evident. Sometimes this blessing prompts reactions from those around you that are not always positive because godly success can incite attachment and acclaim as well as attack and animosity by others. And this dynamic is no different in your life. I mean, if you walk closely with the Lord and pursue his will, you will encounter the same. People will either understand and attach to you or feel threatened and attack you. This isn't a response to you, though. Sometimes we think it is, but that's wrong in our mind. It's a response to God's favor, threatening others, that threatens others who want that success and that blessing and praise for themselves. And this is a reality in the Christian life. The Christian life comes with tension. It comes with advocates and adversaries, advocates who praise, support, and sustain us, and adversaries who are fearful, threaten, and conspire against us. And it's critical to humbly embrace our advocates on one hand and be undeterred by the attack of our adversaries on the other hand. Adversaries will unsettle you and draw out these sinister thoughts and intentions and actions, but, but your commitment to God when attacked by them is a testament, an ongoing testament to God's blessing and his continued success in your life. So if you are being attacked by an adversary today, <laughs> leverage these attacks, leverage them to deepen, deepen your reliance on and your relationship with God. Be faithful to his blessings and his success. Don't let adversaries draw out selfish and sinister thoughts, intentions, and actions. All they want to do is steal your success and blessings because they think they are to be possessed when they're not. Success and blessings are an overflow of an ongoing relationship with God that is stewarded and managed and overseen. Never possessed and never forget that. I love you guys. If this has blessed you, then share it with someone else who needs to hear it today, and I'll see you right back here again. Okay.